Array reduce, start with a list of items, then iterate over them to compute a single value. It works just like basic arithmetic. Consider one plus two plus three. What we have here is a list of numbers. They're reduced to a single value using a function called addition. In arithmetic, we go from left to right. The result of the first computation is then added to the next one. So it's actually just a loop, but a loop with a memory. Take for example an array of orders from our online store. Our goal is to calculate the total dollar amount of sales across all of the orders in this array. One option is to create a variable that starts at zero. Then we'll start a for loop and increment this value for each order total. Reduce can solve the same type of problem, but without mutating the app state directly. It does this by applying a reducer function to each element in that array. Your job is to define the reducer function. The signature of that function has two required positional arguments, the first one being the accumulator. That's just a fancy word for the last value that you returned from this function. The second argument represents the current element in the loop, or in our case, an order object. The way we change the accumulated or remembered value is to return a value from the function. To combine all of the order totals into a single number, we simply add the accumulated value to the current value. And optionally, we can add a starting value as a second argument, which we'll set at zero. The end result is the combined order total across all elements in the array. We started with many things and reduced it down to one thing. In some cases, you might want to start at the end of the array and work your way backwards. You can use reduce right to start at the end of the array and work your way to the beginning. This has been Array Reduce in 100 seconds. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.